We all like to be welcomed because it makes us feel special. As a teacher or caregiver, you can make the children in your program feel special and get the day started right by providing a warm welcome for each and every arriving child. Especially warming is the sound of one's own name, which children love to hear. But simply saying, good morning, Sarah, may not be enough to generate enthusiasm and make the child feel glad to be there. Instead, as children arrive, meet them at the door with activities like the following, and the children will look forward to arriving each and every day. Piggyback songs are perfect for arrival activities. Sing this song to the tune of Happy Birthday as you greet the children one-on-one -on -one at the door. The tune is a familiar one, and the sentiment is simple but effective. Good morning to you, good morning to you, good morning dear Tony, good morning to you. Here's another simple song with a favorite melody, London Bridge. Catherine is here today, here today, here today. Catherine is here today, I'm so glad to see you. Although this chant doesn't incorporate a child's name, you can still make it personal by preceding it with a hearty good morning that does use the child's name. Then simply recite this chant while shaking each child's hand or offering a fist bump or a high five. Hello to you and how do you do? It's a wonderful morning. Welcome to school. If you have a small number of children, you can use that chant with the children as a group, you know, as a whole. Just stand in a circle with all of them and turn to the child on either your right or your left. Shake hands with that child and recite the chant. That child then repeats the words and action with the next child in the circle and so on all the way around the circle. If you have a larger group, you can eliminate the handshaking and simply recite the chant together. To transition a child from the door to the group gathering in the classroom, you can ask her what she wants to be when she grows up. Once she's responded, ask for an example of a task performed by a person in that line of work. Invite the child to move from the door toward the rest of the children as though performing that particular task. For example, if she indicated that she would like to be a basketball player, she might pretend to dribble a ball down the court. If another child said he wanted to be a teacher, he might pretend to write on a board as he joins his classmates. You can challenge the children who have already gathered to guess the occupation that the arriving child is depicting. If several children are arriving at once and you want to call them together in a circle, use your most inviting voice <clears throat> to chant the following rhyme. Come together, come together, come together now. Stand together in a circle, take a great big bow. Once the children are together, you'll want to find a fun way to begin circle at group time, to create an atmosphere of unity, and to get ready for the day. Show and tell is always an excellent way to do this, and it also promotes language development and social skills, as does an activity called Guess What I Did. For that one, each child acts out something he or she did the night before, and the remaining children have to guess what it is. You can create enthusiasm for the start of the day with this song, sung to the tune of Farmer in the Dell. Explain to the children that they should all shout hooray at the end. It's time to start our day. It's time to start our day. Let's give a great big cheer and then be on our way. To generate excitement about being together as a group, sing the song, sing this song to the tune of Hail, Hail the Gang's All Here a couple of times through several days in a row. Now, I'm not quite certain I've got the melody right, but this is a close approximation. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. We're gonna have a good day. We're gonna learn while we play. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. We're gonna have a good time now. You can make that song a finger play by adding simple actions, which I've included in the brackets following each line. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. Two big waves of the hand that indicate everyone gathered in the circle. We're going to have a good day, nod twice. We're going to learn while we play. Tap the temple with the pointer finger twice. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. Repeat the actions for the first line. We're going to have a good time now. Draw an invisible smile in front of your face with pointer finger and nod twice. Finally, you'll need some fun activities for when it's time to move from where the children have gathered to another part of the classroom. Because motor skills don't automatically develop from an immature to a mature level, they must be taught and practiced just like any other skill in early childhood. You can use transitions as an opportunity for the children to experience a variety of locomotor skills. For example, ask the children to move to their next, 
to their next destination, easy for me to say, by jumping on two feet, hopping on one foot. That's technically what it is. Jumping is a two-footed landing, hopping is a one-footed. Marching, tiptoeing, running in slow motion, and galloping. This is also a perfect opportunity to include more problem solving in your program. Before using any of the following challenges, be sure the children understand that there is no one right way to respond, that they can find their own way. Invite the children to transition to another area in the classroom or to another activity in the following ways. Using only one hand and one foot, a one hand and two feet, two hands and one foot, like any four-legged animal in a crooked or a round or a pointed shape, as though walking on eggs, trying not to break them, using any locomotive skill but walking or running, using a funny movement. They'll like that one. I hope you've enjoyed the possibilities explored here and that they'll help get your days started in the most welcoming of ways. Leave your comments to let me know how it's going and please do click the subscribe button if you haven't already. I don't want you to miss any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.